We're Cassie and Bradley, and we're driving our camper van around the world. In this video, we're in Bulgaria, and I warn you now, you may find some scenes distressing, but let's get to it. Hello, so today we are in Plodiv, if I pronounce that right, and we're going to explore the old town and then check out a vegetarian restaurant that Brad's found online. The vegetarian restaurant that's so highly read up by Brad. <laughs> got some vegan sausage, so it's made out of beetroot and bunch of spices. I got a donor falafel. I also got some Bulgarian wine, which is quite nice. Yeah, I mean, good. What's that straight sausage? It looks like chocolate. Well, the high point, I think, is behind us, but we've made it to one of the high points. It's like the high point on the, like, from here we start to go down again. Yeah, but the autumn colours are just amazing. made it to a pretty basic campsite um you can see this it's um you know it's basically a big parking lot but they've got showers and toilets and we can get water it was only it's 10 euro for the night with all that and a sunday dinner day so it means that um i can have a drink if he wants <laughs> you know what day it is sunday dinner day so we've got the sunday dinner cooking up and we're ready <laughs> So hungry. Today, instead of a doggy friend, we have a cat friend. Yeah. But she's very affectionate. <laughs> she gets to trust you. So we're going up to this fortress. <laughs> so our dog friends. They can look after the van for us. Yeah. So we're getting ready to go into the, the fortress. We came out of that. There's the car park right there. And then literally just here is well, the sorry looking dog. Warning, dark. that is a distressing theme and it's horrible. Yeah, it's like it like started running away and one of its legs doesn't really work and it's really skinny and just won't eat the food and the water. So basically we, so there's a, there's an animal, there's a dog shelter 20 minutes away that shuts in an hour. Um, they gave me the number of a, of a, of people who I, they drive out and collect the stray dogs, take them back and have them, you know, castrated or treated or whatever, and then released. They said they can like give it medication if it needs to. Um, but she's on about. She said, "Oh, we don't know when he can collect them. It might. It probably wouldn't be today." So, anyway, she's called them, and I'm I'm literally about to call them back now to see what they said. Um, and if they can't, then we have to find a way to. Basically, there's this box here that someone's left, 
So, the, I mean, the only thing we can think to do is just like, I've got gloves in the van. Um, is to like try and carefully get it in the box. Um, slide it into the box and then literally, let's set the lights, bring it to the box and then put the box in the van. I guess drive it there. It's only 20 minutes away, so it's not far. Um, just bit, I mean, we've never done that before. Um, and obviously you don't know the stray dog, what it might do. And it's, it's really not well. It's got like a gash in its neck and it's oozing, so. Yeah, it's just not reacting to anything. No. It's weird because every single dog in the Bul in Bulgaria runs away when you see it. Like these other dogs here that we fed, they, they still won't come near us. This one is letting you stroke it. So that's how you know there's something wrong with it. It's annoying because literally right there is like, like the guy who like let us in, you know what I mean? And this dog is, clearly lives in this box. So like, people like him and everyone else who comes by sees this dog every single day and don't do anything about it. So Yeah, Bulgaria just, has, a, has a problem with it's treatment of dogs. Yeah, I mean, as I say, all the dogs shy, like, there's a negligence across the Balkans, but in Bulgaria, they actually shy away, so... If this is the know. worst we've seen so far. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna do something, but I'm gonna give them a call back now and see what we can do, because I'm not leaving this dog like this. Hello, we rang up a few minutes ago about the dog. No, they can't see well, Um Funny enough, the woman actually hung up on me when, she, when I called as well, which was nice. So we got Kaz to call them off a different number and then she yeah. answered and spoke um, and let us know they, they can't take it. So yeah, there you are. Um, let's see how we do that, I don't know, I guess. This will be fun. A joke. We had to um, put him in the box and take him to the dog shelter. You can probably hear the dogs bark and we're here. But um, He's awake and I don't think he's made it. I don't know. I don't understand how you can just walk past an animal like that every day and ignore it. I know there's a lot of strays in this country, but at least give them a chance. So, yeah, so we, um, as you last seen the video, I didn't know what happened. Brad went in with, um, the doggy and, um, but yeah, she was too ill. I found out it was a she. So, she didn't make it. I'll think about it again if I start crying. Yeah, it's been like an hour now. We've been basically driving to yeah. Sofia. Um, didn't skip out that town. Just skip the town by Sofia. Um, but yeah, it was really yeah, It was a girl. I named her Jean. I thought I'd give her a name, but at least, you know, I think it was better that she went, you know, with some human contact rather than on the side of the street where no one gave a crap about her, so. But yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the end of that story. I really hope that we don't have to encounter that again, but. We've seen so many strays. Yeah, it's horrible. It really is just try and you know take what we could and that's all you can do and yeah that's it. I think gave her a better end to what it would have been if we not turned up. Yeah at least we we did something. Plenty of people walk past that dog and didn't do anything so someone works there every day and yeah. sees it every day. So yeah at least we tried. <laughs> So 
yeah it should be I'm hoping it'll be sad because you know I'm obviously going to be seeing a bunch of doggies that don't have homes but a lot of them do get homed and they obviously get looked after here so hopefully it'll be a little bit heartwarming too yeah we'll see how it goes but I thought I'd take you with us let you see the, the setup and whatnot and and see some of the good that's being done too we're here see doggies yeah <laughs> Here. She lives here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, Bulgarians are again not accustomed to, to adopting uh, handicapped doggies. And otherwise, um, for doggies like her, in many EU countries, there will be specialized shelters, you know, where people trained uh, in providing the type of care that she needs. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, the care for every single handicapped uh, doggy. Would be more suitable, but here, yeah, she's just one of uh, the handicapped dogs that we keep in the shelter. Very, very special doggy. She is not, um, she is not friendly to every visitor. Just right on the contrary. She's the other doggy. That don't you worry. Uh, oh, not sick. She's the other doggy uh, that has a broken spine. You know, she came with her puppies. When they, she she got uh, hurt on purpose by somebody, by a guy in a smaller city in the country. Oh. She came here with her uh, puppies that were only three weeks old, you know, they couldn't survive without their mama and although the spine could not be operated on, uh, we decided to give not only the puppies the chance but also the dog the chance. And yeah then she started she's just uh, here again to get some fresh air she does have her wheelchair but yeah because she protects the place so much she protects it from every visitor and volunteer uh, she gets uh, that's her wheelchair over there uh, yeah she gets her walks uh, during specific uh, hours of the day and in okay. the rest of the time just stays here at home mm, in the outside okay. We can hear anything over the dogs. We're gonna take a couple from the clinic out. What yeah. a wonder! The ones that are in like quarantine because if you're ill, they just come in and be vaccinated. Cats have got a dog. <laughs> it looks a bit like the Jean dog. <laughs> So I feel a lot better now that we've been to the rescue center. Um, I'm gonna obviously donate some money because the work they do there is amazing and it's all voluntary. Um, and obviously it costs a lot of money to have the kind of like clinical aspect to it. So doing the surgeries, doing the treatment and everything. Um, and they rely a lot obviously on donations. Apparently they do a calendar every year and that's really successful. But anyway, I'm gonna put the link to the organization in the description and if you want to try and help out a little bit with um what they're doing obviously that would be amazing it's just this every single dog in there has an individual story and it's just it's just so sweet to see that they are getting cared for and they have a real uh, they put a real push to getting these dogs adopted so that they don't spend their lives in the kennels which is what a lot of other organizations do is what she said um but you know their idea is, is to get them fit and healthy and then just try and find them a home